Hey guys, this is Adon Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today's video is going to be a little bit more about a showcase and not necessarily a guide because obviously it's quite uh, it's quite end game, I guess. <laughs> Let's call it. Uh, basically, what's what I what I'm going to show you today, as the thumbnail already says in the title, I managed to do a one key hard in like four minutes. You know, uh, it's the tactic that I basically used was the same tactic that has circulated that has circulated around the community for quite a while. But that was mostly used for the sake of uh, normal and some people, I, I haven't seen videos, but I know that some people already adapted it for the sake of hard. And I said, you know what, let me try and just do the same thing myself. And that is to get top chest on hard Hydra in like as fast as possible. So this was the team that I actually used. And that's why I say that this is mostly a showcase because, you know, legendary, legendary, legend, it's five legendaries. To be fair, at the end of the day, Mithrala and Lydia, it's obtainable, you know, they are obtainable through just, you know, progressing through the game. And it's kind of a showcase because this is so fast. So, if you have these champions, you should be able to adapt something like this on this rotation. Ruel at the same time used to be a, he used to be a fusion, like one year back, so you might have him as well. Molly is, you can get from the token trader, I guess, or maybe you, you already had her. I'm using her for the sake of the provoke. And then Umbro is in there just as a... Basically as the last option and kind of like a provoker, I guess. At the end of the day, even though like her provoke is not the best because she puts the block active skills on herself. But you know what? Enough talking. I'm just going to show you the, the the video itself. I'm going to play the video and I'm, I'm honestly just going to stop it when once I hit that top chest, which is at 20.4 million. So I recorded the whole thing. I'm not going to play the whole thing. That's like, you know, it was seven minutes or eight in total to hit this damage. So I'm just going to play it till that part. I'm going to let you enjoy some, some nice music and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the build. I have on these champions in case you're interested in trying to uh, do something like I did and obviously most of like some of these champions are, are interchangeable but let me let you watch that and I'm gonna be right back I'm gonna show you the builds and uh, and the masses on them so see you in a bit guys <laughs> Okay, and we're back. I just jumped a little bit towards the end to, you know, show you the actual time because I forgot it shows here at the top. 
But yeah, I wanted to actually show you the time that it took. So to do the 31.94 on hard, which obviously if you have these type of champions, if you're late end game, it shouldn't be a big problem for you. But seven minutes and 30 seconds to do the 31.94 or four minutes to get the top chest, which I think it's it's pretty pretty awesome. You know, usually people try and hunt lots of the good RNG and all that. So for sake of doing this pretty fast, this is the team, you know, 7.2 million damage from Ruel, 3.7 from Mitrala, which has no War Master, Lydia 1.7, Tranda, obviously the MVP here, 17.1 million, Molly 649, and Umbral 916,000. So this was basically the team, now let's just have a look at the builds, like, you know, I wanted to make this a quick video, I didn't wanna, I don't like keep talking a lot for uh, for the sake of this so mr Ola is just like i showed in my previous previous videos she's in my immunity build for the sake of uh, arena i'm using her as as uh, a clans and anti hedgy champion so these are her these were her stats and these are her masteries no war master like i mentioned this is what i use for the sake of arena on her then let's have a look at lydia these are lydia's masteries again standard masteries that i use on her for the sake of pve this would now work obviously in, in clan boss because of rapid response and arcane serenity some stuff would have to be changed there and then these are her stats i had her in a reflex because i used her before in the previous rotation in a reflex set but now honestly i ended up not even using a her for nightmare or brutal because i had better teams already built so she ended up being a hard uh, a hard key champion and these are her stats then the next one that i used was molly molly again in an arena build shield set plus perception i have her to have more defense than hp i want her to have lower hp because i'm using her as my hedgy target as well in case it's an a1 hedgy it's not going to target my nuker force it's going to target her these are her stats and again, the Arena Masteries that I have on her. In case you want to copy and use her for the sake of Arena. Then, who was the next one? Ruel. Ruel, these are his Masteries. He's in a Damage build. Same build that I used previously in, in my video showcasing what he can do for the sake of nuking uh, Dungeon 25 Waves. So it's same build and kind of like the same stats. As you see, he's the one that doesn't have a 100% crit rate. That's why I ran him as a lead. If you give him 100% crit rate, you can run Mithrala as lead. Or somebody else, if you have a lead, that actually helps you out. So, you know, decent enough damage. He's not in my best Savage set because uh, my best one's on Tronda. Then my second best one is on Seer, then Magnan and so on. So he's kind of like on my lower end Savage sets. Then Tronda, since we spoke about her, she's Savage plus Cruel for the sake of Arena. You know, decent enough stats. Like, obviously, it can be better. I have, without having an empowerment and just a little bit of attack from Faction Guardians, I'm kind of happy with the stats I have on her. Like I said, Savage plus Cruel, which is pretty good. Then these are the Masteries that I use on her. Obviously, they are Arena Masteries. These are like, usually from what I've seen and what I've tested and what I was told so far, these are the best nuking Masteries. So for your Arena Nuker, this... At least this part is the standard one. This, oh, after this one, it can be changed a little bit. But left side, it's 100% should be this one for the sake of Arena New King. Then, who did I, who else? So I had Mithrala, Ruel, Lydia, Molly, Tronda. Oh yeah, and the epic at the end, Umbral. Umbral Chantress, I don't even have Masteries on her. I just have her booked. And I had her to have the, the speed. So Perception plus Speeds, these are her stats. I wanted her to do the block buffs first. So the mischief does not steal uh, the buffs. And then I, I use her provoke for two turns because we have so much damage. We kill them pretty fast that this, this provoke is, is not a problem that it does the block active skills on us because everybody should be dead. But yeah, this is going to be it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this was more of a showcase and a fun thing that I, I remember I did last week. Last week, I don't know how I managed to do it in like three minutes. I had the top ch uh, top chest damage already. But this time, I, I only managed to do it in four minutes. And, you know, it was pretty fun. And I wanted to show you guys this because you might have the champions. You might want to try and do this. But yeah, this is going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace love take care everyone bye